Hello everyone! In this first video of CompuSpark walkthrough, I'm going to give you a quick overview of 8 of our tools, so stay tuned. I'm going to begin with your event homepage, where you can display your logo as well as your sponsor's logo. You can also leave information for your players and any visitor to see. At the top, there is a button that allows you to share your event on Facebook. To open the menu and have access to the other tools, simply click on the logo in the upper left corner of the page. You can use a plus sign next to the section title to add and reveal the different tool. As you can see, the tools are separated in five different categories. General, Manage, Schedule and Chart, Statistics, Standing and Opponents. We're gonna go in the buildings bars under location and surfaces. You have to create one or many locations for your league. Make sure that your locations are active. You can modify them by clicking on it, it will be. Then highlight it and selecting the pencil tool. A pop-up menu will appear showing the fields that you can modify. So now in the playing surfaces, that's where you create your pool tables for all of your location. Again, make sure they're active. You can filter your location at the top by selecting bars and room. Now moving on to the team under players and team, exactly like the surfaces, simply click on the team to select it and Hit the pencil icon to modify the team's information in a pop-up menu. As you can see on the video, we are changing the team default location simply by clicking on it and selecting the new location in the drop-down menu. Don't forget to save your change at the bottom. If you select a team, you can also see on the right-hand side a list of team players. That's where you can add more players to your team and, I'll and it also allows you to select the team captain. We are now going to take a quick look at the calendar on their schedule and chart. The two tiny calendars on the left hand side are there to filter your matches. Simply click on the start date and end date to filter your, your result. Under the calendar, there is the generate schedule button. That's what you're going to use to generate a schedule. If you click on the option button, you will have the choice between round robin, recurring dates, edit, generate, delete, statistic, PDF schedule, and C schedule. Still in the calendar and generate schedule, one of the tools named Statistic allows you to see the stats related to your attempted schedule. It will open as a PDF file on another tab. On there, you can see the team list, the full place for each team, the consecutive home and away, the numbers of matches as home and away team, the bar name, number of matches for each bar for a specific night, the number of team per bar, and the average of the number of matches per team at this bar. Still on the schedule in Sharp, we're going to take a look at the Surface Scheduler, where you can modify your league schedule. If looking on the Show Filter option, you will be able to filter your schedule based on a specific day of the week, time range, division, and more. This will show your tables and matches for every night of this group. On the side, you can see the date and time, and you can see the surface at the top. You can move a match on another table if you need, simply by dragging and dropping. Now let's move on on the stats model editor under statistic standing. In this section you can create different models of stats for singles or teams. Select the player model to configure the single stats or select the team model to configure the team stats. Select the plus icon to add a parameter or field in the stats section of the selected model. A pop-up window will open with all the different fields options. Simply check the one that you want and don't forget to save at the bottom. On the left hand side you can add a parameter or field to be used for the ranking. 
simply drag and drop them to modify their order and click on the blue floppy disk to save any modification. Alright, I'm going to end this video with the player stats. What you can see is the stats that your player and visitor can access on your website. That's what we modified earlier with the stats model editor. When you click on a player, you can see their picture appearing on the right hand side. If you want more information, you can select show history to see their opponents, score, win, losses, team name and more. The button next to show history allow you to incorporate the stats to your website and all changes made to the stats will automatically change on your website. The button on the left hand side of show history allow you to see the team's players. So that's it for the first Compute for Walkthrough video. Thank you for watching. If you have any question or need help setting up your league, don't hesitate to call us at 1 888 or email us at info at Have a good day.